Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. In today's video, I'm taking you on a hike through some private property that has a beautiful creek that flows through it. Not only that, but there's beautiful signs of spring. You can hear the trilling of toads in the background. You can hear bird song in the background. Spring is well underway. The buds have popped. In some cases, now we have leaves on trees. So stay with me as I show you signs of spring.
so I spooked some white-tailed deer when I came down this trail. And there's a ridge where I've seen them before, and they basically are hanging around up there looking down to make sure they're safe. But this area has all kinds of game trails, and I was following some game trails, and that's where you see a little bit of a browse line where the deer are munching away on the sticks that have the succulent leaves that are just sprouting now. So it's been uh, a neat experience. I see their hoof prints, I see their chew marks, and now I've had a chance to see a deer. I'm out in the county on some private property, and uh, deer are probably pretty spooked because they're sometimes, they're hunted out in the country, right? And although this isn't hunting season, their memories are probably pretty vivid about what that felt like. So that's okay, I don't mind not being able to get them in this setting. They're a little easier to film in urban settings. So this is a beautiful setting. I'm so happy to be back here. It's probably been close to a year since I was last here. And uh, there's all kinds of um, wildlife and signs of wildlife seen out in this area. So I'm only part way through this hike today. Oftentimes what I'll do is I'll stand in a spot with my cell phone out and I'll use the Merlin app. And then all you do is you hit sound. This is an amazing app 
It uh, has been designed by Cornell University, and uh, they have a well-developed um, bird department, and they do a lot of bird studies. I took a bird course through them. It was an online course. So what I'm going to show you is the fact that it comes up with the listing of birds that it hears songs and calls for. And then it kind of narrows it down as to what I'm looking for. So in this particular area, because it's the migration season, there might be things I'm not even hearing because I'm not familiar with hearing those birds. So I'll show you in a couple of seconds after it has a chance to pick up some more bird song. It's cool to be able to see those turkey vultures that are just hanging out on that the railroad trussels. And there are birds all around me. This is to give you an idea of how effective it is to use the Merlin app because sometimes you're not attuned to the bird's song or call. Maybe you're focusing on one or two in particular. Well, this is one that brings to your attention the different sounds that you're hearing and maybe missing. So I'll give you a, an idea of the ones that are actually making sounds right now. And you can see what it does is it highlights the bird that's actually making the sound right now. Sometimes there are more bird songs than there are spaces. So it just means that you have to roll through the list to, to be able to see everything. And if you want, you can then hit record. And therefore it records all the readings, all the readings that you just captured. This is just such an exciting time of year. Um, bird activity is at an all time high as they're singing at this time. So that helps you to sort of hone in on where they are. The leaves are still not out on the trees. Um, we've got buds, but you know, no fully developed leaves, which help to impede our view if they are out. Um, that'll be coming in the next few weeks though. Uh, right now we're at the very tail end of, of April at the time of this filming. But uh, anyway, so there's all kinds of migratory birds. Got this creek, so that brings wildlife into this vicinity. I love the sound of bird song. And that is what I'm striving to do, is to be able to bring that into your home for you to enjoy.
Yeah. I'll be able to get some really nice footage of a turkey vulture and compare that with those uh, female wild turkeys that I also filmed. So the turkey vulture has a reddish head and the wild turkeys have a black head uh, with some red on it. So anyway, it's great. A lot of birds are just sitting very nice and still for me today. So I'm quite grateful for that because it gives you a good chance to see them and compare them to each other and just uh, get to observe their behavior a little bit better. A lot of activity from gray cat birds too. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me on today's Hiking with Kathleen. One of the things I want to mention just before I sign off is Shannon and I are ready to embark on our camping trips for this year. So here are the provincial parks that we have booked and plan to go to. So we are going to Wheatley, Bonacher, uh, Charleston Lake, and McGregor Point. So those are the provincial parks that we've lined up for the camping season between the spring right through to the fall. However, we are not hiking we are not camping in the months of July and August. So I'm putting out an ask to you. This is in recognition of Rolf, my friend who has allowed me to come and film on his beautiful property with the creek that flows through it. It was such a, 
It was a great experience to be able to do that earlier in the, the video today. What I'd like to do is put out the ask that if there are folks that live within a one hour radius of say uh, London, Ontario, Canada, that have private property that wouldn't mind me coming to film wildlife or the beautiful scenery that you have on your property, send me an email. You can get that by the contact information either on the website www.hikingwithkathleen.com or .ca um, or just uh, on the contact page of the YouTube channel. So that's something I would really appreciate because I love going and exploring new areas and uh, if that's private property that belongs to you that's great if it belongs to somebody who with whom you're very close or have a family relationship run it by them first okay thank you so much bye for now